well hello dear students today we are going to discuss about uh, for example we are having uh, an area uh, or a property of an irregular shape and we want to divide it into three equal areas plots okay how we'll do it and secondly uh, we will discuss about uh, how we can separate an area of a desired amount let's say 100 square foot from the available property okay uh, thirdly uh, you can divide the the irregular shape plot into three different areas as well okay so let's start the video first of all we need to have uh, the area or the the boundary of the area that is uh, available are the property okay so uh, for that uh, I have drawn this uh, property with the help of a polyline okay make it a boundary first of all uh, use that boundary command pick the point and this is uh, a boundary now okay now uh, find out the total area of this property by using that double a command okay space select the object option okay and then select the polyline are the boundary so we can see the total area of this plot is 254.81 uh, square foot so as it's given in this table now using the calculator alt uh, sorry control 8 okay this calculator will appear here and now you can see that the uh, let me drag it okay the total area is 254.81 8 okay now divide it by 3 so that will be giving us three equal areas okay is equal to this is 84.93 so it's given here area 1 is 84.9 84.9 and 84.9 okay close this calculator and now uh, use this area and divide this total area in these 84.9 84.9 and 84.9 areas now uh, use a, a simple app that is available to you in the description okay uh, and load it in this uh, AutoCAD uh, software so here uh, use the app load command okay and then enter and go to that particular folder where you have saved the file which is uh, named as cd.vlx okay select it and load it okay so this message will appear that is cd vlx successfully loaded and then close it we don't need it anymore okay now uh, decide whether you want to divide the area uh, horizontally so then draw a vertical line and the area will be divided horizontally as shown uh, in this area 1 area 2 and area 3 and similarly if you want to divide the area uh, along this line okay so then draw a horizontal line and the area will be divided vertically so in this tutorial we are dividing it uh, horizontally so we'll select this line okay then load this app so use that cd command okay and select the polyline okay then select the line which will separate the areas so then select the side whether you want to keep that area uh, on the left side and uh, are on the right side so i want to keep it on the left side okay so uh, then select the area which you want to keep here okay that is 84.8 area uh, sorry 84.9 is the area that i want to keep here enter and select that s option so now this line will start moving along this area and will try to separate an area of 84.9 uh, on this side okay see this message appears zong which means successfully completed uh, and then uh, select uh, ok and make this area as boundaries now this is this area make it boundary click ok then find out the area and then select the object option and then ok select the area you will see this is exactly 84.94 okay similarly if you want to divide this remaining area into uh, again the 84.9 84.9 areas so again draw a line or copy the same line over here 
okay but before that we need to make this remaining area as boundaries so select that boundary option and then pick the point so this is the boundary now okay again draw the line or you can copy the same line as well uh, to keep the symmetry and then uh, load that cd command okay select the polyline this is the repetition of the process then select the line which is separate the areas select the side i'm keeping this area on the left side and then uh, type 84.9 which is the desired area here and then select the s option okay so now again the process will be repeated okay once the process is completed so you'll get this message again okay and now again if you want to see whether this area is exactly 84.9 or not so then again make it a boundary okay pick the point make this point a boundary then space and you will see uh, use that double a to find out the area and uh, uh, select the object option and then pick the boundaries you will see this is exactly 84.9 and this remaining area is also 84.9 okay so this is how you can divide this uh, total irregular shape property in three equal areas okay uh, now if you want to repeat the same process for uh, to separate an area of 100 square foot from this available total property so how you can do it let's do okay again we have the same area uh, see this is uh, in the form of polylines uh, make it a boundary first of all okay pick the point make it a boundary enter again uh, use that cd command uh, before that draw a line okay which will separate the area of that 100 square foot from here from the available property okay and then load the command and select the boundaries of the area okay then uh, select the line which will separate the area then select the side and then select type the area which is for example 100 feet of the area uh, square feet of area you want to separate and then again space and select this s option so now this uh, line will be uh, moving along this property uh, again and it will try to separate 100 square foot of area okay once the process is complete you will see this um, this message box will appear okay again uh, calculate this area using this boundary command pick the point okay and then uh, double a space uh, select the object option and see the area of this this point so you can see exactly this is equal to 100 square feet so we have separ successfully separated an area of 100 square feet from the available property okay that's all from my side uh, if you like the video so kindly share it and subscribe to my channel thank you very much